China appears to be growing increasingly resistant to dissent, according to human rights groups marking International Human Rights Day, with concerns that the situation is worsening. Lu Lina, whose husband fled China to escape a crackdown on dissidents in 2019, faced numerous challenges, including being prevented from leaving the country. Her eight-year-old son was effectively expelled from school, and the family resorted to filing for divorce in China to overcome the exit ban. The case of Lu's husband, Lu Sifang, a musician and former teacher, is emblematic of a broader trend of Chinese activists and rights lawyers facing arrests, forced hiding, or self-exile following a 2019 informal gathering to discuss human rights. Observers argue that Beijing's crackdown on dissent, both domestically and internationally, is intensifying under President Xi Jinping's leadership. Rights groups criticize Western governments, claiming they are not exerting enough pressure on China. Sophie Richardson, a China observer and former China director at Human Rights Watch, notes a significant deterioration in Scenes of petitioners gathering outside power, local government offices and courthouses to air their grievances are increasingly common in China. Analysts say the rallies are a sign of the Chinese government's gradual acceptance of some dissent. But such scenes are only part of the picture. Activist and legal experts note that government tolerance has its limits. At a recent U.S. congressional hearing on political prisoners in China, legal expert Jerome Cohen said that vague Chinese criminal laws allow authorities to brand a wide range of individuals as political prisoners. Land disputes, property disputes, environmental, labor problems, birth control problems, these are all often local disputes that make people become political prisoners because there is no satisfactory outlet for China's their peaceful protest. And many of them, of course, uh, get locked up. Chen Guangcheng, a blind self-taught legal expert in China, is one example. Chen was sentenced to four years in prison for damaging property and organizing a mob to disturb traffic. After he documented cases of forced abortions and other abuses by local family planning, says a crackdown targeting rights activists, ethnic minorities, and government critics is underway in China. He says, arrests for endangering state secrets more than doubled in 2008. And more arrests and indictments for what are called crimes of endangering state security were carried out in 2008 and 2009 than in the five previous years. This is a sign, he says, that hardliners in the Chinese government are consolidating their power. Rights activists and legal experts say the United States should do more to support those in China who struggle to promote the rule of law. Some have said more frequent the and in-depth discussions between U.S. and Chinese officials on human rights are, are needed. Others have urged President families. Barack Obama to meet with former Chinese political prisoners at the White House to show U.S. support for civil society in China. Authorities in Beijing, however, stress that Chinese citizens' rights are guaranteed by law.